so this video is a tutorial of GB eating GB while listening to GB by Crywank. Quite a long title, but somebody asked me if I could do a tutorial of this song like maybe a month ago and I meant to get to it a lot sooner, but then I had a trip to Colorado for a week and when I got back I was sick and I'm still not 100%, like my voice is a little bit shaky still, so I'm sorry if I'm like not talking my best in this video, but I wanted to get this out for you because I've been putting it off way too long. And I actually did a cover of this song, if any of you would want to watch it maybe before or after this video, it's the most recent video on my channel, but it's also going to be in the description of the video or the little eye thing if you want to find it there. And I say this little disclaimer before every tutorial I do, but this is based strongly on the version that I did in my cover, so it might not be 100% accurate, it might be like played in a different way or some of the notes might be off. So if any of you have a better or a different way of playing it, feel free to comment either a link to another video that does it better or any websites or anything like that that has a better way of doing it and I will try my best to boost the comments because I want to see all the other ways that you can play it so we can all kind of learn together. That being said, I think we should just get straight into the tutorial. Alright, so when you're playing this song, it's gonna be normal tuning, no capo or anything like that, just guitar, how it is. Also, this song is majority finger picking, so if that's maybe a little bit more challenging to you, there's no shame in playing it a little bit slower, taking your time, you know, going through each section very slowly and making sure you can get the patterns right. So we're just gonna go through each of the sections. And I know some people do it the opposite way, but just for simplicity's sake in my brain, we're gonna do the strings going down, one, two, three, four, five, six. And along with that, the frets, which you probably already know by now, but it's just one, two, three, four, five, all the way up. And as I'm describing these tabs, I'm gonna do my best to put pictures right here that'll hopefully help out because I'm not always the best at explaining them, but I wanna make sure you have as many resources as possible. That being said, I do also try to put a link in the description of every tutorial of the website that I got the chords or the tab or whatever else it is from, because if you're a visual person like me and you just need to see everything right in front of you and just go from that, it's gonna be there for you. <laughs> So the really cool thing about this song is actually your left hand is gonna do four different shapes the entire song, and that's it. It's just gonna repeat those four shapes the entire time. So the very first position of the song is gonna be your pointer finger on that fourth fret, third string, middle finger on the fifth fret, fifth string, and then your ring finger on that sixth fret, fourth string. If you don't know how to read tabs, and this doesn't really make any sense to you, I did make a video talking about how to read tabs and just like the basics of it a little bit ago. So if you wanna maybe watch that and it'll help you, then it's gonna be there for you too. But basically the number is the fret and then the string that it's on in the picture is gonna be the string that lines up on the guitar. And the order that they show up on the tab is gonna be the order that they play it. And you can see that it plays the third, fourth, and then fifth string, which is gonna sound like this. So I'm using my thumb for that third string, my pointer finger for the fourth string, and then my middle finger for that fifth string. And throughout this song, I like to keep my ring finger on that bottom string just because it makes sure I don't accidentally hit it and then have another note that I'm not supposed to be playing. And it also just helps me keep my hand steady here so I'm not like losing what string I'm on. So then the next one, if you can see, the only difference is it changes from a four to a zero, which means you're gonna lift up that pointer finger and that's it. You're gonna play the same strings. For the third one, the bottom string changes to a zero, which means that pointer finger is going back onto the fourth fret, but you're lifting up your middle finger this time. You should just have these two fingers on, which is gonna sound like this. Because again, you're playing the same three strings, the third, fourth, and fifth. And this is the only one where you're gonna change what strings you're playing. You're gonna take that middle finger that wasn't on any strings and you're gonna bring it up to the second string. And you're gonna move these three fingers all up one. So now you're playing the second, third, and fourth string, which is gonna sound like this. So when you're doing it all together, this might sound a little bit complicated, but just bear with me. <laughs> gonna be all three on the strings, lift up that pointer finger, lift up the middle finger, but put the pointer finger back, and then middle finger on the second string and move everything up one. And I know that probably sounds like a lot, so you might wanna just go over it a little bit. I know I had to just like sit there and go over that pattern because it really takes a little bit to get your brain used to like, okay, I'm moving this string up to here and then I'm changing all of these up one. And if you need to stop and just like take a minute to go over that and just keep repeating those strings over and over, I know it took me a little bit because just the idea of like, okay, this finger is gonna move up to here and then all of these are gonna move up one and I'm gonna be playing different strings and then I gotta go back. It just, it's overwhelming at first, but it's really not that bad once you get into the hang of it. And once you get faster, there's actually no pauses in between all of these it's just like consistent notes playing so it's gonna sound something like this which if you listen to the song you can hear that throughout the entire first part of it and then you're gonna lift up that middle finger again and you're gonna play all three strings at once the second third and fourth strings which is gonna sound like this and you're able to mute it after the third one just so it sounds a little bit more clean which all together is gonna sound something like this then you repeat sing enthusiastic beyond belief 
and you just do that for a while. I feel like this is a very messy tutorial. I'm kind of all over the place today. Anyways, you're gonna do that throughout the entire first bit, and then when he starts singing, calm down, calm down. It's gonna be the same exact thing that you were playing, but you're gonna actually put a little bit more space in between it. So it's still gonna be that four, six, five. It's the same shape as before. Nothing's gonna change with this hand. It's gonna be that same pattern of those four different shapes throughout the rest of the song. So it's gonna be something like this. Calm down, calm down. Let her see how fast your heart is beating. And you're not gonna play any notes at the same time, you're just gonna go straight back into calm down, calm down, control your breathing. So you're gonna play the same pattern that you did at the beginning, but it's gonna sound like this. And also, I'm sorry if I'm playing it a little bit fast, I tend to rush through things. It's just so you get an idea of how it sounds all together. Well, if you don't want me, it's just tough luck. I think about you, but I know I'm not good enough I've built you up too much Now I can't say What's on my mind in case I go and scare you away Back into calm down Calm down You get the idea So that is the first section of how to play this That's really all you need to know, just the basic And as long as you can get that pattern down, you can pretty much play the first part of the song. You're gonna finish the calm down part, it's gonna be control your breathing. And then, you're gonna speed up with this end. And I'm gonna keep saying it, the left hand does not change, it's gonna go through those same four shapes. The right hand, however, is gonna speed up a little bit. Which, before I say how to do it, this is how it's gonna sound. So what it is, is it's still the same strings of that third, fourth, and fifth one until you move it up the one, but it's the same strings. You're gonna go three, four, five, three, four, five, three, four. So you're playing eight different strings before you change with your left hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you wanna just practice that pattern for a while, it might take a little bit just to get down like, okay, I'm changing right after the eighth string and I gotta change this note and then do it again. And if you can hear, there is a little bit of change in that last section because instead of leaving your middle finger on the second string, you're actually gonna lift it up after that first set of three. So it's actually gonna go one, two, three, and you're lifting up that middle finger. So this is normal. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, lift. I'm gonna play that like another time so you can hear just where the change is. This is all normal. So you can hear that first one, two, three is normal and then you lift the middle finger, one, two, three, one, two. And you're gonna be repeating this pattern for quite a while. So when you're playing it, you're gonna finish the calm down part. Control your breathing. start singing. All the people you meet Full of thoughts optimistic and sweet And how could I compete With the world in your feet And for that last one you're gonna go One, two, three, one, two, three, one and you're gonna stop there, you're not gonna play the eighth note. And then this is the one part where I will say your left hand changes a little bit. Same shapes, just a little bit of a different pattern. I know this whole time I've been saying that's not a thing, but it's it's basically the same thing. <laughs> this part is a little bit hard to get down, but it's still gonna be that third, fourth, and fifth string. You're just gonna be alternating in a little bit of a different way. So it's gonna be three, four, three, five. Instead of just going straight down, you're gonna alternate. Which if you're not changing your left hand, is just gonna sound like this. If you want to practice just alternating between those fingers for a little bit again that's three four three five but the part that makes it complicated is every other time you do that fifth string you're going to be lifting up your middle finger so right now it's back on that fifth fret and then lift it and then you're going to move the middle finger up to the second string play the second and third strings alternating lift up that middle finger do it again it up. Which when you add words to it, would it be cruel, be cruel, be cruel to give 
give my thoughts, my thoughts to you. And then you're straight back into that faster part of three, four, five, three, four, five, three, four, which goes along with the words feelings for friends turn to hate. And you're gonna keep going with that. And then when you're done with that, you're going back into would it be cruel, be cruel, be cruel. The transition between these two sections is gonna sound like this. How could I? Stop there and then straight into Would it be cruel, be cruel, be cruel to give my thoughts, my thoughts to you? And that transition back into the fast part is probably one of the harder things just because you have to go straight from And it can be a little bit hard to change from two strings to three strings when you're alternating like that. So you're singing, would it be cruel, be cruel, be cruel. And then after that, you're gonna go. To give my thoughts, my thoughts to you. Then you start strumming. So for this part, you're only gonna be strumming the second, third, and fourth strings. So it might help to put that middle finger on the fifth string just to make sure you don't accidentally hit it and make a noise. I just use my thumb and you're gonna use the second and third strings twice and then all three. I don't know how much sense that makes, but it's gonna go one, two, three. And if you can see, it's gonna be the first two strings and then all three. Honestly, it doesn't matter too much if you're accidentally hitting all three at once or if you're missing some sometimes. It, it doesn't matter that much. And it's gonna be in sets of three. You're gonna go down, 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 down. You're gonna do that four times and then lift the middle finger down 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 same thing i wouldn't want to hurt you by letting you hurt me you put it back don't deserve to feel guilty and you're gonna just keep doing that until you get to turn your back on and this is where it's gonna get just a little bit different you're still strumming though so you're gonna do it three times on just that second string and your middle finger is still on it one, two, three, then all three strings. One, two, three. So you're gonna lift up the middle finger and go one, two, three, one, two, three. And you're gonna mute it. And in total, you're gonna be strumming all of these three strings eight times. So it's gonna be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. You don't really have to mute it between all of them, but I kind of like doing it. I just kind of suck at it. <laughs> this is a really reliable tutorial, trust me. But you're gonna be alternating between those two for the rest of the song. When the middle finger is down, it's gonna be one, two, three on that string, and then one, two, three on all three. Then lift it up. One, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three, put it down. So when you're adding the words to it, it's gonna sound something like this. Why do I think these stupid thoughts? I wanna fight my own head. Or I will only feel remorse I just want you in my life And that last time you're obviously only gonna do it three times instead of the eight Which that was like a very messy rendition But hopefully you understand how that kind of lines up with the words And that is actually the whole song It always stresses me out doing tutorials just because I'm not that great at guitar So for people to be asking me to tell you how to do guitar when I barely even know what I'm doing It's just it's very stressful because I want to do good for you guys and I want to be able to help you, but I just ugh, I just want to be helpful. So as always, if you guys have any questions or anything was confusing in this video, please comment them and I'll try my best to respond or somebody else can see it and respond who knows more than I do. Also, if you want to see how it sounds all together, you can obviously listen to the actual song. Please listen to the actual song. It's a great song, but also if you want to listen to my cover, feel free to do that. Obviously not necessary your support on this video and just my tutorials in general, honestly, it just makes me really happy to see that I am helping people in some way. So if you also have ways that I could improve these tutorials, if there's other things you want me to include in these videos, please let me know. I want to be as much of a resource as I can because I don't know if I'm helping people. That's kind of cool. So I think I'm going to end the video there. If you guys like this tutorial or want more covers, tutorials, anything like that, request them. Also, December 1st is tomorrow and I may or may not be doing Vlogmas on my second channel, Casey Love It, if you guys want to go watch that, see more of my personal life. I enjoy making videos and getting feedback from all of you. So I'm just having fun with these videos and I hope you are enjoying watching them. But yeah, if you want to watch me on a Vlogmas, I will see you guys in the next couple of days. But if not, I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.